Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. You know, I wanted to record a video. I went out with Ray this morning, my buddy Ray. I told you the other yesterday that we were gonna take a bike ride today. I wanna ride. It was a uh, you know already 80 degrees this morning, and I said I don't want to bother. But I did. I had to go buy a new pair of fingerless gloves. I know some of you guys love these, and some of you guys just totally despise me from wearing fingerless gloves. But anyway. And I want to go down this road and I have no idea where it freaking goes. And it's already getting late at night and I thought, well, maybe I'll take a ride down that road and see where in the hell it goes. So, uh, I hope it's not a dead end. That would really suck, but it looks like it goes somewhere. Um, let's take a little journey down it anyway and see where it goes. So anyway, we decided to go the other way. We went down to uh, Neon Gardens Harley Davidson dealership, and uh, luckily I got my gloves, and, and I got a 20% discount. So I was pretty happy with that. I saved some money today. I mean, you know, that was a big deal. Uh, yeah, this road looks like shit. But crazy cool New Yorker would tell me, don't worry about looking bad. He would be like, just keep going on it, take a ride see where the hell comes out because you know that's where crazy cool New Yorker is <laughs> and hey I haven't watched a lot of you guys videos out there uh, I'm trying to catch up but man I am backlogged being away for a week uh, so I'm trying to catch up now so you'll see I am starting to comment on them again uh, you know I, I do love watching all the videos out there I think it's a great time uh, to see you guys ride um, and I know I'm backlogged so I gotta start catching up on on all the videos that I've been uh, missing and I will be doing that. Um, but anyway, so today, like I said, we took this shorter ride. We did a total of 70 miles, which I told my wife, I must be getting to be one of the, uh, these guys like you guys out there when I watch your videos. You know, you don't want to get on the bike and ride 70 miles. There's a nice big deer right there in front of us. Check that out. Any more coming? This time of night, I'm bound to see some deer. Let me tell you. There he is right there. Look. See if we can get a good shot of them. You don't want to sit too long by these farmhouses because there's also dogs by the farmhouses. And we don't want to get bit by the dogs. That would really suck. That would make my day really uh, complete. On a nicer note, it's going to be dark very soon and I don't have a clue where I'm at. So I have a GPS in my pocket. I mean, I can figure out how to get home. Look how pretty the cornfields are, huh? Really nice up there. So anyway, the rest of the day wasn't too bad. I went home being, you know, when you ride in the heat, what tends to happen when you ride in the heat is you get very tired. I don't care who you are. You're going to get very, very tired. So I went home, turned the air conditioner on in the window, laid down on the couch, and I took a snooze for about an hour. I got up. I told the wife, I, I told my wife I was going to, I think I know where I'm at now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm at. Let's go this way. So I told my wife I was going to run down to the Walmart, and um, I think I know where I'm at. I told my wife I was going to run down to Walmart and pick up some shock for our swimming pool. Nice cows. And if you don't know what shock is, you put it in the pool, and it, it's a high, very high concentrated chlorine treatment. And uh, what it does, it clears the cloudiness of, of the pool. So I put that in, and uh, I mean, I bought it today. I came home. By the time I got home, she was ready to have supper. So we sat down. We had some dinner with uh, with my two with two of our girls. And uh, in the meantime, today my son came over. We chatted for him for a while. But then my two girls came over. And we just had dinner with them. Then I told him I'm going to cut the grass. So I went out and mowed the grass. It was hot as hell sweating my butt off so I came in put my trunks on I jumped in the pool so I jumped in the pool for a little while got cooled off came in and I said now it's kind of cool I can put my full face helmet on and go out and do a uh, and do a, a video and I told my wife and she's like you going for a ride now and I said yeah why not it's nice and cool you know it's down to about 70 degrees outside and uh, my garage where I put the bike has a truck in front of it right now I couldn't put the bike away so I decided to come out and take a little ride before I put the bike away. There's somebody else decided to take a little ride. So, so 
so here I am. All right, well, I don't want to baffle you with my BS, as I always tell you, but that's been my full day. And, uh, you know, I really have no topic for you tonight. Other than maybe, maybe, do you ever do that? Do you sit at home and wait until the evening to take your bike out on a cooler ride? You know, my wife said that is one of the worst vehicles you ever purchased in your life was a motorcycle. And she's probably, probably looking at it in her perspective, she's absolutely right. Uh, you're not going to ride them in the snow. You, you know, you don't really want to ride much when it's cold. And you don't want to ride really when it's 100 degrees outside because it just sucks, right? You know, you don't want to be stuck to the backrest, stuck to your seat. It sucks. You, you want it to be perfect riding weather. So, be that what it may be, she's probably right. Alright, folks. Anyway, I want to thank you for riding along with me. If you are one of the 1,000, something like 1,006 subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I hope I'm bringing you content that you are enjoying and uh, having fun watching or listening to some of my uh, weird, crazy, whacked out stories that I often have. Uh, but, you know, I enjoy you viewing the shows. I enjoy you viewing the, the video, not shows, I guess. I enjoy you viewing the videos. I enjoy your comments. I enjoy commenting back. Uh, one mode of logger once said it's almost a full-time job um, and there's really no payment uh, we do it because of, of the love of doing it the love of riding and, and I feel like when I'm riding and I'm, and I'm recording uh, I, I often feel like there's somebody like you guys are riding on the back of the bike with me or, or talking on a Cena with me as we're riding through the countryside and, and that's just a, an amazing feeling I mean and, and, and I you know love everyone you subscribers out there I mean honestly uh, if it wasn't for you, you know, why would I record these videos? I guess just for me to kind of watch, for me to kind of chill out with and, you know, uh, get a perspective of my riding. But anyway, uh, I do uh, enjoy you watching the videos. I enjoy you being the comments. And like I said, I enjoy commenting back. So keep the comments coming. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll talk to you next time. Harley Day Riders going to be down and out in the gorgeous southwestern Pennsylvania on a lovely evening here in July. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.